Hello everyone and welcome to Rudy's Retro Intel. On today's show we'll be looking at this new board I've designed which provides a generic output for your vintage computers. What it does, it can provide composite out and gives you access so that you can plug in your RGB to HDMI adapter. So we're going to hook this up to our K-Pro2 computer and see how that works. So let's peek inside and poke around. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is turn on the monitor. Okay, that's powering up. Give that a moment to do its thing. And then we will reach over and power on the K-Pro. And as you see on the K-Pro, I'm using the K-Pro uh, keyboard over here while the K-Pro itself is right beside me. But let's do a directory and we are getting composite out. Um, it's not the greatest. I have to modify the, I have to change the, I have to change the potentiometer on the board. It's a 10K potentiometer and there's something weird with it. So I'm going to replace that, but I'm showing the, I, that we can get something out of the drive here where you're actually getting proper video and uh, let's take a look to see if we can get it on the RGB to HDMI so as we can see below we have the RGB to HDMI adapter displaying on the screen uh, to the to the side we have the K Pro up and running and then in the bottom sorry the bottom corner we have it on the uh, composite out again the stripe and a little bit of uh, jittery is because of the potentiometer I have to change but that will be changed soon enough um, but the concept does work I am getting video on the well, let's reset this make sure everybody can see everything and as you can see we're getting the video out I can do a directory um, the nice thing is that with this setup now, I can now capture video with my OBS uh, software and I can record it. So let's switch over to that view and see what it looks like. All right, with the uh, RGB to HDMI connected up and uh, I am now capturing it on my uh, OBS software, you can see that we're getting a nice clear picture. And let's do a directory. And we'll go to B drive and load up basic. And once that's loaded, we'll be doing the famous uh, 10 print program. And as we can see, it's actually up and running. It looks quite clear. And um, um, yeah, that's basically it. So let's uh, go back to the bench camera and take a look at the board and how we all connect it to the computers. So here's the board I was showing at the beginning of the video. And the question is, well, how does this all work? Well, let um, me see if I'm getting a nice glare on this or not. Okay, so here, we have the connection that goes from the computer to this board. We have the plus five volts. We have vertical sync, horizontal sync, video, and then ground. And then beside it, we actually have the output for the RGB to HDMI adapter, which is just a video, a vertical sync, horizontal sync, and ground. Um, then it's basically similar to the Commodore uh, PET companion board I've built. Uh, it's in a previous video if you want to watch that to see what that's all about but it's basically the same uh, design uh, just as a third of the size also uh, this board does have the section here which is for 
um, inverting the video so depending on your machine you might have to invert it you can just put a jumper here or move it to either for normal or inverse depending on your needs and the uh, uh, output for the composite so here's the board I have here is the uh, the board built up um, in this revision there is a mistake I had to put the the one of the resistors a 680 ohm resistor across this way I put some heat shrink so it doesn't short out and then I also forgot to put a trace on the two of the pins on this IC but the new version that's coming out will will have it all corrected and I put some header pins now these are so that I can hook up um, well one side goes from here into the into the computer and I'll show that in a moment um, this one I've built a little cable myself for the yeah this is the cable that goes into the um, RGB HDMI adapter and this side plugged into the board so this would go here and that just snaps in it's got these little uh, clips on the sides here so that when you plug it in it's it holds it in nice and snug so this would go into your cable again this is just um, my setup for now this is the RGB the HDMI adapter I use and so this plugs into the cable the cable uh, then goes into the RGB to HDMI adapter and from here you plug into your external monitor so I had it plugged into my actual um, I believe it's a 20 inch uh, computer monitor and I also have it plugged in through uh, capture device into my computer running OBS so that's that part the second part here is composite out this is the composite cable it's just a regular RCA jack to a two pin connector and that plugs into here like so and I've made holes on the board so you can put mounting screws you can actually mount it somewhere on the back of the case on the inside or the outside however you want to set it up and uh, that's basically it. it's pretty simple board you have to adjust the potentiometer for your uh, for your uh, composite out to make sure you get in proper um, the best uh, video quality you can um, this one's having an issue I have to change it but you got the idea that I'm actually getting composite out so the next step I guess would be to look on the K Pro and uh, see where I pulled these signals off so let's do that next so here's the inside of the K Pro computer itself um, what I've done here is I've found a location on the board let me pull this off um, on the schematics it's showing that this spot right here is showing all the signals I need except for the vertical horizontal which is coming off this pin here so what I did because there's room I actually soldered a header on there and I made a little connector which then would plug in like that um, this here then connects oh, it's got a little messed up this would then connect to the board on here um, and I've also added this yellow wire here which then pulls out the uh, vertical from the connector now let me see this connector uh, yeah you can't really see it this connector goes down underneath the the board to the actual uh, tube to the actual electronics for the monitor itself the the tube so basically with these all wired up together these would plug into this uh, spot right here and it would clip in like that so we have that set up and then we for example want to plug in our RGB HDMI we just plug in this adapter here like so and this is for the RGB HDMI adapter and then the final one um, if you want like if you want to have both set up you can then plug this header over here into there like that and that would give us the composite out so you can use this board for uh, several uh, different configurations you only want composite out or do you only want RGB out um, the neat thing with this board let me just pull these wires out because they're kind of in the way um, I'm designing and also a little back uh, panel for the capro that would bolt that would screw onto the back of the unit and then from here we'd run the wires from the circuit board to the back panel and then from there all the 
ports like the uh, the the DB connector and the uh, RCA connector will be on the back on the outside of the case so you have to constantly open it up for having wires hanging out um, but the um, the neat thing is that the board is very small it works um, it's working just fine on the K-Pro as you see as you saw and um, we can also use this unit on other computers we could plug them into the um, Osborne I'm actually looking at an Osborne executive so when I do a repair video on that I'll be plugging in this board basically any vintage computer that has um, you can find in the schematic where you can pull off video out um, the H sync uh, signal and the uh, vertical sync signal if you have those three signals you can get RGB out and if you can find the plus five in ground from somewhere then you can also get composite out I personally like the the uh, RGB because it's very sharp and um, it's you know it's, it's easy to set up however you do need you, you do need to purchase a RGB to HDMI board which I highly recommend I think it's a great little tool and um, for your vintage computers or for doing repairs or video whatever you like so um, yeah that's basically that's basically the board the um, I have a new board coming which has all the corrections um, I want to make a new wiring harness that is not all these separate individual wires um, the nice thing with this one is that they're very um, these wires are um, stranded wires so they bend nicely if you use a solid core it after a while it could break but this again is my prototype it is working um, and uh, We'll see uh, what comes out of this and what other computers we can plug this in. I'm looking at setting something up like this for the uh, Apple II and my Coco II computer. So look for those in the future. See if we get that up and running with, with this board. And um, yeah, and uh, that's basically it with the, the K-Pro. I'm uh, going to be doing another video on the K-Pro later on, which was the K-Pro 2X. I'm doing some work on that. It's a friend of mine's, and I also want to see if we can get the RGB to HDMI and composite out on that one. Well, that wraps up our show for today. Hopefully, you enjoyed uh, seeing my little prototype board. The final board will be coming out very soon, probably sometime in early January 2024. You can look for the uh, Gerber files on my GitHub page. They'll be in the, the links below. Um, but before you wrap up, I want to say a big thanks to everyone who's watching, um, viewers like yourself, my subscribers, they're totally awesome, and my uh, Patreon members there are scrolling at the top of the screen. The, between everyone, this is uh, making the channel uh, grow, <clears throat> and it's a wonderful experience. Thank you so much, and uh, hopefully you enjoy this uh, video. You Give it a thumbs up, like, I'd love to hear your comments and uh, you enjoyed seeing this uh, board working on the uh, k-pro so if you have a k-pro computer um, check out my uh, uh, github page in the new year in january 2024 and look for it and and download it and build your own boards and and give them a try um, as for people who don't want to build them or don't know how to build them um, the boards may be for sale on uh, a couple of web sites uh, later on next year I don't know um, I figure that if you don't know how to solder uh, this little tiny board together then you're gonna have a hard time um, soldering up the connectors connections for the horizontal sync vertical sync video and plus uh, five and ground so thanks again and we'll see you next time take care